What's up, my fellow binge travelers? It's about time you get caught up on all the new things coming to Disney World and Disneyland in 2020. With Disney's 50th anniversary right around the corner, only one year away, we have a lot to talk about. Number one, kicking things off the right way in Magic Kingdom. We have a huge ride opening, but let's not talk about that just yet because we have a few smaller things to talk about before we get there. With the 50th anniversary right around the corner, Disney wants to clean up the place before everyone shows up to the party. So we get a couple ride refurbishments and things of this nature to get things started. Okay, so number one is the Jungle Cruise. And this one is pretty obvious with the new Jungle Cruise movie coming out in 2020, but it's the first ride to be refurbished at Magic Kingdom. My only hope is that The Rock will be the tour guide on the boat. That'd be pretty awesome. Maybe it'll happen. Number two is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Not much to say about this ride, but hopefully they make it better. Number three is the Tomorrowland Speedway. This one has actually already been revamped. And another one I can throw in here is the People Mover. It is getting one or two more scenes added in. And in fact, the entire Tomorrowland section is also getting a revamp. Number four is a possible reimagining of the Tiki Room with a new Moana theme, as well as replacing the old Stitches Great Escape ride that has been closed for years with a Wreck-It Ralph attraction. And if this does happen, it'll be in 2021 or 2022. At this point, it's just rumors, but hopefully it happens. Number five, and here's the big announcement we've all been waiting for, the Tron Coaster. Now this one has a possibility of opening in 2020 because of number six. Okay, so number six is a Space Mountain refurb. And here's why I think the Tron Coaster could open in 2020. Once the Tron Coaster opens, Space Mountain is likely to go down for refurbishment. And my guess is that this will take about six months to complete because Disney wants to make the Disney World version as good or better than the Disneyland version. So if the Tron Coaster opens in 20 or possibly early 21, Space Mountain can open in time for the 50th anniversary after its long refurbishment. Number seven, and let's move along to my favorite park, Animal Kingdom. And unfortunately, there's no news really surrounding Animal Kingdom at the moment. Flight of Passage is still the popular kid in class, so Disney isn't really interested in adding anything to Animal Kingdom at the moment. The only question in my mind is what they do with Primeval World. It was down for a good four months without being fixed, and there have been rumors surrounding a revamp of Dino Land USA for years now, but I just don't think it's in the cards at the moment. Number eight, hopping over to Epcot, there's a lot of demolition happening right now. Just last week, the Starbucks and Club Cool were totally demolished, as well as the Epcot uh, entrance overhaul. Everything's being changed at Epcot, especially in the front. The countries are staying the same pretty much, but the front of Epcot completely changed. And in the front of Epcot, we have number nine, the all new Space 220 restaurant that was supposed to open this year, late this year, but was pushed back to early 2020. And if you're wanting to get reservations for this restaurant, get them as the minute. Like you have to be super quick. They're going to book up insanely quickly. So get your reservations as soon as they become available. Number 10, Epcot's newest nighttime spectacular will be making its debut in early 2020 and will be replacing its short-lived counterpart, Epcot Forever, which only lasted a couple months. Pretty ironic. Number 11, we have yet another new ride opening at Disney World in 2020. This one is opening in May and is opening in the France Pavilion. It is called Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and I am personally very excited for this one because Ratatouille is one of my favorite movies as someone who loves to cook. So I'm very excited. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And for number 12, we have the Epcot Play Pavilion. And for all you Disney OGs out there, if you remember Disney Quest, this is something very similar, except in downtown Disney, it's now in Epcot. And moving right along to the UK Pavilion, we have a Mary Poppins theme attraction for number 13. Number 14, we can't talk about Epcot without talking about Spaceship Earth. And this one will be going down for a while, possibly a two year refurbishment for Spaceship Earth. Let's just hope they don't mess it up. And as a bonus, we might as well talk about the Guardians of the Galaxy coaster, which opens in 2021, which isn't 2020, but I figured I'd throw it in anyway. Number 15, we're moving on to our last park, Disney's Hollywood Studios, where we have two major attractions slash restaurants coming to Hollywood Studios.
First for our number 15 spot, we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opening in March 2020. And we have the all new Toy Story Barbecue Restaurant opening around the same time. And to wrap things up, we have the Rise of Resistance opening December of 2019 for Disney World and January 5th for Disneyland. And we also have the all new Avengers Campus Phase 1 opening in 2020, the summer of 2020 for Disneyland as well. And that's everything coming to Disney World and Disneyland in 2020. And I'm just here to make your vacations more magical, so please drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more just like it. Also check out my video on the best times to visit Disney World, and I'll see you there.